Hi everyone, this is Liz with 143 Handmade, and today's Defemerember 2022 is day seven. So that's handwritten memory and loaded tag. Um, this open collab is hosted by 49 Dragonflies and Louise Heinzel. So today's day seven, handwritten memory, loaded tag. So most of my handwritten memories are actually already bound into diaries, journals, things of that nature. But I do have um, a fair number of little <laughs> notes like this from, from high school. Um, I didn't pull any of them out of my um, memory box, but I will. But I figured I could just fold up a piece of paper and I'm actually thinking about going ahead and um, writing on here about this and adding that to this journal about the defemerember and the daily prompts and the, you know, YouTube and just all of that right now. Cause it's a lot of change for me. This is, this is still new. So, um, but loaded tag, Hmm. What does loaded tag mean? I think it's one of those open things that can kind of mean whatever you want it to mean. Um, whatever it means to you is okay. So I pulled out a couple of master boards. Well, this is a piece of a master board. This is a snippet roll. Um, basically the same thing, only two different like shapes. And this was much bigger, but I broke it down to um, get it on camera better. <laughs> um, and so what I was thinking I would do, actually, because this, this section is kind of floppy. So what I was thinking I would do is fold it in half or roughly, you know. And all that stuff hanging off, we've got options on what to do with it, depending on, you know, where everything ends up laying. But what I was thinking I would do is fold it in half, and then, um, cut it. Kind of unfold it a little bit and cut this. Mm, let's see. So, kind of in between those two flowers, okay. And then cut it like so. And then down this crease. Get out of the way. There we go. And then we've got a pocket for our loaded tag. Because I'm thinking a loaded tag can mean either a tag with a bunch of pockets that you, you know, put a bunch of tiny stuff in. Ah, my glue went awry. Um, but... Or it can mean like this, where it's uh, just a tag that you have a lot of stuff on. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of that glue out of that corner. Put it underneath there, because it's kind of popping up. Okay, there we go. And fold it down. So now that created this pocket. So... There we go. And then we could leave the top all raggedy like that. I like that. But it's not exactly a tag. So let's go ahead and give it a tag shape. Let's see. I think I need to cut that off. I was kind of hoping to leave it all hanging out there, but it's just not in a good spot. So I'm going to do that. And then right across the top. So there we go. Now we've got our classic tag shape. And let me grab, let's see, I've got to have some little bits right here to make a, a topper. Let's see, this is some super, super fuzzy fabric. Some of that minky. It makes great little tabs though, because it's very textile, you know, super soft. Yeah, let's see, well there's that one, let's see, or go with purple, no, not purple, maybe the teal, let's 
Let's see. These are all bits from um, I just made my made my niece a blanket. So a quilt for for Christmas. So see, these are some of the bits from that. Let's see, I think this one. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off just a little bit of it. And then stick it on there like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and staple it. And I've got the, this is just the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. Um, just because it's a little more convenient on the desk. I do have a regular stapler and a long arm stapler. That long arm stapler, I love that thing. I do absolutely love that thing. But, so, let's see, and I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, what if we just snip off this weird little end here and give ourselves just a tiny bit of texture added by gluing that on. Because that staple is just a little bit sharp on this side. So, I'm just going to cover it up. And it won't take much to hold this on, I'm sure. Because it doesn't, it doesn't really want to go anywhere. So there we go. We've got a loaded tag, I think. And then here's our my handwritten memory tucked in there. So I think that turned out really cute. And it's a great way to use up your masterboards, you know. It's just make tags out of them. And as far as the bear goes, I think the bear is just going to be the pocket that I tuck it in in my journal here. <laughs> Oh, my puppies are playing. Hang on. Oh, they, they quieted back down on their own. Okay, cool. Sometimes they do. So, let's see. Girl, they're, they're you know, it's mid-morning. Usually they're settling down for a nap right now, but um, all we did was play in the yard this morning. We didn't actually go on a walk because of the rain. So... Let's see. I think I'm just going to do it as a corner tuck just to make sure that there's space. So I'm going to go down just the L shape to make it a corner tuck. There we go. Just like that. So, um, don't forget to go check out everybody else's stuff. There's lots of really cool videos, lots of inspiration going on. Um, if you don't have time to check it out right now, that's what January's for, right? <laughs> so, that's one of the cool things about YouTube is that if you see a video you like, you can always save it and go back to it later. So, there we go. Yeah, that'll tuck in like that. I'm going to go ahead and give that glue a little bit of time to to dry to adhere and I was thinking I'll go ahead and, and make something another one out of one of my snippet rolls here real quick so let's see I want this to be on the back so let's see I think I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it right here you know, cutting into your snippet rolls, that's one of the hardest things about making snippet rolls, is cutting into them. <laughs> but, gotta do it. It'll be okay. You know, because see, even though I did cut that butterfly in half, it still looks cute. It's still there. It still looks cute. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this where I want it. And then flip it over and decide where do I want that pocket to be. I want that pocket to be right about here. Oh, oh, puppies, puppies. Hang on. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry for making it go all askew like that for a second. Okay, so um, all I've done is, is trim it up. Yep, and then now I need to glue this right down each side. And we've got ourselves another tag with a pocket. 
you know, and if this up here bothers you, being all, you know, text upside down and, and whatnot, that is where you just take a piece of scrap and find a piece of scrap. I know I have a piece of scrap right here somewhere. Right here. No, I don't want to use that one. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. This is just a piece of, of um, what they call flypaper that come out of the, the front of a journal. Or not a journal, a uh, book. Mm, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and trim it before I fully glue it. It's getting a little bit of glue on there already because I already laid down that glue to fold the pocket and then decided to cover this up. So it is getting some glue on it, but I'll be able to pull it back off if I'm quick. Yeah. So here we go. Actually instead of cutting that, if I can find my ruler. Not that one. Not that one. Nope, can't find the ruler. So we're gonna be brave and we're gonna tear without a ruler. Just with a crease line. So there we go. And then I can cut the top bit again, I think. I think that'll be... Yeah, I can cut the top. Once it's glued down. Okay, so... And I went ahead and just did the whole length of the tag. You don't have to when you're going to put a pocket on it. You can just leave it the... You know, um, short by the the top the pocket space, but this way makes it a little easier, I think, and it also kind of stirs it up, makes it a little bit stronger. And make get putting this piece in there that whole way, and then now re glue up and down right here and right here. And we've got ourselves another pocket. Loaded tag with pocket that we can tuck another, you know, memory of some sort in. Let me go ahead and trim this. So you really get the good effect. There we go. And then I think this one I am going to just put this guy on. Let's see, do I want to go ahead and wrap it? No. I'm just going to leave it. Because it's kind of a weird triangle shape. So, let's see, actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and trim it. Make it some more square. So that way it makes sense. Let me fold it over. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tiny attacher again. Um, you could totally glue this. You could um, punch a hole and put a brad. You could, you know, attach it in a bunch of different ways. But there we go. So let's see. Yep. And then this one, you know, you could add your handwritten memory just right there. Well, you know, onto that white space if you want in. So thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, go check out everybody else in, that's participating in Defemerember um, 2022. And um, if you are hesitant at all at, at paper crafting, just remember five-year-olds do this. You can do this too. You know, little kids play with paper all the time. This is something that we encourage, that we, you know, it's part of kindergarten curriculum. It's to cut, with, cut and paste, you know. That's all we're doing here. This is just, you know, we're taking stuff to the next level, sure, you know. But it is, when we boil it down to it, what it, what it is, is it's just paper. It's just glue. You know, the sewing machine is another level that is, you know, taking it up a notch, and I'll be the first to admit that, and I did not do that when I first started um, doing paper crafting. So, it's not at all necessary, um, but...
just if you're if you're at all curious give it a shot you know um you never know if you're gonna like it until you try it and so let's see i don't think i can fit both of my loaded tags into that one pocket that's <laughs> it's just too much for that pocket so we'll flip back here to our big envelope and drop it in there it's one of the one of the nice things about adding one of these big envelopes and let's see, I'm going to trim this one to open it over here because this one's not, this side's not even open yet. So, but yeah, totally get started. Don't need, you don't need ink, you don't need, you know, you don't need any of that stuff. It's just paper. Paper, glue, scissors, you got it. You're done. You can, you can make a huge amount of stuff with that. Um, that actually inspires me. I'm going to write that down on my list and create a playlist that is strictly for beginners that, that uses just paper, glue, and scissors. No ink, no sewing machine, none of that stuff. So be watching out for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe.